Good, Good morning. morning from Jamaica. Yeah. We are in Falmouth. Mm -hmm. Falmouth. Yeah, uh, and we are waiting clearance. We got room service breakfast. That was good. Let's put, Very quick. They called, told us they were coming. Like knock, that. knock, knock. There they were. Yeah, they give you like a five-minute warning mm -hmm. that they're coming to knock on your door. Let's look at our breakfast real quick. All right, we have got coffee, milk, yogurt. Oh, uh, that's called sugar. Granola cereal, bananas, and a napkin. English there we go. Muffin. English muffins. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Mm -hmm. Um, and now we are going on a ship excursion today. We have never been to Falmouth before, mm -hmm. so we're like, you know what? We looked at excursions. A lot of them take you to Ocho Rios. They take you to Montego Bay. We're like, we want to do something sort of uniquely Falmouth. Yes. So we're going to Good Hope Estate. Yeah. This is yeah. the Chucka Family Escape Pass. I think is what they called mm -hmm. it. The so Good Hope Estate. So if you're on a different one. ship, it might be a different vendor, but Good Hope Estate is where we're going, essentially. Choco kind of runs the tours around yeah. a lot of these islands, we've noticed. But it's like 40 bucks on our sailing. I don't know what you get, but you get to swim and you get to st stuff. It's really pretty area, and it's about four hours. So, you know. Yeah, we'll be back to the port by, like, noon. It's crazy. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, but that's it. So we're waiting for clearance. Yes. And then we'll go. <laughs> Happy Witness Day! Hey, there were no announcements, but we were able to hop down and get off. It is a little overcast. I don't see rain yet. Maybe it's just because, you know, the sun is still asleep. It is early. So our meeting spot said to go to number five. So we'll wander up here through the gate thing. I am ready to explore some Falmouth. So we'll continue around here, all right, through the building. Well, so straight out here into the courtyard. I assume that is the meeting spot. Got a handful of shops. It's not a huge looking port. Man, we got the gem palace, the gold mine. Most of the doors seem to be closed right now. <gasps> Diamonds International is open. The tours and information booth. Yeah, most of the shops are not open because, well, it is 6.15 a.m. here. So, oh, they got a cold brew. Okay, okay. Coffee food truck. All right, to shore excursion dispatch. Oh, now they're making the announcement. That's funny. We were just early. <laughs> oh, look at all the stuff. It's like what we saw in uh, La Romana with all the carvings. All right, we're almost there. I've got a giant craft market over there. Oh, station one. Okay, we're starting to see numbers. I see four. One, two, three. Oh, I see five in the distance. It's a little hike to get out here, so you better give yourself a little extra time. <laughs> so we have located the Taxi Plaza. I guess that's what that is. Yeah, it appears to be. And number five, alive. Well, we got to point number five, and they said, just come on down to the buses and ask for Spencer. So we're looking um, for Spencer. Hey, we found Spencer on a bus. <laughs> That's a little awkward, but it works. All right, finding our ride was a little um, weird, but we made it. Yeah. The sign that they would normally be out there holding up is just sitting on the dashboard of the bus, but that's okay. Our man's was inside the bus. Well, they have several tours meeting at five. Is the thing, so. Yeah, they were like, you're going to the blue hole? We're like, oh, not the day. <laughs> so he's coming around giving our wristbands now. I think we're in the right place. We got all braceleted up. We got a green one for the tour and a white one because we want to indicate we're on Explorer because there are going to be two ships in port today. Sign. It's the majestic whale call of Jamaica. I've been waiting personally to say, welcome man, and we are well Irie here in Jamaica. I want you guys to memorize three phrases today. Irie man is, I'm good. Yaman is yes, and it eh, eh is no. All you gotta say no is sound like a dolphin. <laughs> Our tour today, we get, well, we have pool time. There's an awesome water slide there. If you would like to upgrade to zip lining or river rafting or even river tubing, it will be available at our property. Water shoes is sold inside of the property if you need to purchase any. We also have lockers for rent if you need to put anything away. We do have hourly shuttles that go back to the pier. But if you guys like the fun and you'd like to stay with the best, we will be here at 11, me and Curtis, waiting on you guys, okay? So this is includes access to the property. We have a pool, a slide, and a man-made waterfall that you can all enjoy. 
um, a restaurant that you can purchase something to eat as well as a bar where you can get drinks. We have a shuttle every hour on the hour going back to your back to your cruise ship. Right, so it starts 10 and the last bus leaves at 2.30. Okay? Shuka at Good Hope Estate. Alright, let's see what we can learn. Looking good, man. Hey, we got snacks and stuff here at the gift shop. Okay, it looks like we'll continue on in this direction. There's what I'm talking about. We got some photo ops. A car, if you need a car. Ah, oh, they got the water slide. Big old pool. Oops, me bumbling across the grass. Nice little zero entry right here. Sure. Yeah. Hey, these look like old cruise ship chairs. I think sometimes maybe yeah. maybe the cruise ships provide or they get them from the same suppliers. Yeah. They look like carnival chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo, we are in. It's right. This is yeah. literally the most refreshing pool we've had all trip. I must say this is the first one where I've been like, it's a little chilly. Woo! And I welcome it. It'll feel nice later though. There is the water slide. Now there's some kind of separate little water entity over there. It does say pool closed on that one. Maybe that'll be opening or something we can discover later. <laughs> Cute, but yeah, gosh, they have all sorts of stuff here. There's like the river rafting and tubing and because the whole eco adventure outpost is over there. Zip lining. It's all, um, you can pay extra to do it too, but, or you can just do this. Yeah, I think we're just gonna um, check out this portion of it today. <laughs> Whatever we can do for our regular entry fee. Oh, this almost qualifies as a ledge, doesn't it? Yeah, it's kind of like a series of ledgy steps that takes you up to, I guess you can see that waterfall back there, but maybe not right now? Not quite yet. Okay. Maybe too early. Maybe the waterfall is still asleep. Well, they've got some Chuck a Branded lounge chairs over here. Those are those plasticky kind of ones. I think I chose wisely with the metal framed um, chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got the tunes bumping. I don't know what this little area is. VIP zone. We'll be there later. <laughs> oh my gosh, people are doing the zip line already. Oh, he looks like he might work here. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love the temperature of this pool yeah, is amazing. Nice. Like we've been in a lot of bathwater pools lately. <laughs> this, is nice this is not it. Unless you like a real cold bath. <laughs> which it's I do cold. right it's now. Nice. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> It'll probably get warm later, I'm sure. No, don't you be <laughs> peeping in my pool, make it warm. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Well, someone has just come and removed the closed sign. So maybe that's going to be a thing that you can do. I think you can get to the waterfall you said by getting out and walking around, okay, I guess. That way, or you can go this I think yeah. that's the most direct way though. Okay. Very neat. Eve has gone on a daggone adventure now. She has then jumped up and made it to the other pool. Um, all right, let's see if we can uh, do that too. Yeah, so they have nice steps to get into this first little location. I guess on this one, you're kind of using the rocks to get down and you would use that to get up to the next yeah, one. And then there's like little grippy things. So. Oh, I see. Or you can sit your butt down and slide. Ah, I have made it to pool number two. So there are some jets in here. They don't seem to be on. It's not heated like a, you know, a whirlpooly dude or something like that. Or what's heated? What's the difference in a jacuzzi, a hot tub, and a whirlpool? Jacuzzi's a brand name. I don't know. Anyway, I'm in here now. Now we have our own little private pool with the trickly waterfall noise. This is nice. Soothing meditation sounds. Mm. All right, we're gonna migrate back to the main pool area. This is cool. Ah, this water feels warmer now. Those little yes, pools got a little chilly, but I like all this water. This feels like way warmer. It's weird. <laughs> All right, I think we will have a wander and learn some stuff up here outside of the pool. We have the Riverside Bar. Yeah, I'm curious to come look at some of this signage and see what's up. I see it says water slide that way. Waterfall is also that way. Here's that little swing photo op. Oh, I see that sign just says like Hong Kong, Washington, D.C. Okay, that's not going to be very helpful for today. But <laughs> hey, there's a path. So no swimming. What are these little houses out here? They look like VIP cabanas or something. Maybe. One of them doesn't have a roof, but <laughs> I'll take one of the other ones. That's half price. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Discounts. Ooh, little shower nook. Okay. We got like three less showers. Look at all this granary. Crikey. I hear a waterfall. A nice little sidewalk path to squeak along in my flip flops. You can admire all the botanicals. Look at these. <laughs> Ah, there is a set of stairs that's going to take us up to some stuff. Oh, people are doing the daggone tubing. Y'all don't swim, but tubing is okay. 
<laughs> is this the same river that they do the rafting and all on, I think? I mean, they're rafting. Um, because aren't there like wooden rafts yeah, that you can ride? Hmm, oh, there's another group coming down yeah, the down the bend. Look, look, Just look, around look. the river bend. Oh, I'm having a Shell Silverstein moment. <laughs> Isn't that where the sidewalk ends? Okay, so we got like a dirt path down there, or you can choose what are known as um stairs. Sort of. All right, we're at the top of the stairs up, oh, and it leads to the highest pool, I see. But then there's more stairs, which would theoretically take you up to, oh, the top of the waterfall. Yeah, this is a pretty big little pool section up here. What is this? A pool pool. Uh oh, what does this sign say? Oh, deep water, seven feet, water level changes. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. All right, let's get all of our climbing done for now. Gotta get my steps in. Aha, uh -huh. at the top of this section is what is known as the water slide entrance. That's a hike to get to. <laughs> well, they've got pool rules up here. I see they also have a sign that says water slide rules. Yeah, water slide rules. Never form chains, okay? The sign up there says selfies. Oh, wow, you get some views up here, though. Look at all these selfies out here. Oh, uh, you can see the depth change. Oh, I see what they mean about that pool. So you can walk around the side, I guess, and avoid the seven-foot area. And we've got waterfalls on both sides. Top of the world! Oh, do you need to catch a ride? <laughs> Just right there, boom. No, no, no. All right, let's go downward. Right, let's come back down to the pool now. Okay, so they said that the deep area is because you can climb some up this waterfall and do a jump off of it. So that makes a lot of sense. Ah, they've got that little platform there, that kind of dark area right there where you can do your jumps from. That's cool. <laughs> There's where they keep their knees by the waterfall. Wow. Very loud up here, but hey. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Alright, we might try to make our way back down to the main pool level using the series of small pools. We'll see how it goes. So here we do have like a little sit and slide or we have a step up and boom boom step down area. Of these look pretty pretty easy to negotiate. Ooh, this one's got a few extra obstacles to dodge on the way down. <laughs> Ooh, all right, we made it about four pools down. We're a couple away from the main pool. I had to get a little chill relaxation on. This is awesome. I love finding like places that have cool water features, and this is some of the coolest. <laughs> yeah. yeah, love it. I they try to make it look like, really natural, which yeah. is cool. I wore my shoes up there, but I'm just carrying them down because <laughs> I don't need them anymore. Nah. Yeah, I like how they said that they made the color of the thing here so that it kind of looks more like a river right. than a pool. Yeah. The rocks all over the place. Nice. Good family fun for sure. Day 27 in the jungles of Jamaica. <laughs> These are pretty. <laughs> yeah, we still have to check out maybe the bar and restaurant options yeah. just to see what they have. We'll at least look at the menu. You've heard what's what's good on the menu here. Jerk chicken. Okay. Duh. Well, Jamaica, it makes sense. Yeah, we'll probably have to try some, I think. Yeah. Jamaica me hungry. <laughs> Even though it's only like 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Well. We had room service at like 6 a.m. though. So. That's true. <laughs> Let's just bask one more time in this majesty. <laughs> That's all the pools we came through. Nice. And we are officially two, two pools, pools from the main pool. <laughs> so we just talked to Jason, which is one of the staff members here, and he said that they are not running the bamboo rafting today. We had thought maybe to upgrade with that. They're just doing the tubing, the zip lining, anything else I'm missing? They've got other stuff going on, but the water is a little too high and too fast for the bamboo rafting. <laughs> So we learned on the drive over here they don't have a whole lot of wildlife in Jamaica. He said a few snakes, which are non-venomous. Non -venomous, yeah. um, you can find crocodiles here, mm -hmm. which I've seen and heard tales of. Oh my gosh! Watch out for the croc croc cro crocodiles. Ah, okay, that was that was a terrible joke. Yeah. That was really bad. <laughs> This is like our own private infinity pool right now. I guess since the water goes all the way up to the edge, that makes it an infinity pool, right? Yeah. Ah, nice. 
So if you are interested in living on the shuttle, please make your way to the front. Okay. We have a shuttle leaving every hour on the hour. So they're announcing that the shuttles are starting to leave every hour on the hour. What time is it now? It's 11 local. That's right. 10 local, which is what they said. They started at 10. Okay, so 11 o'clock ship time. The first shuttle is heading out. Yep. Well, we have spent a long time in our own private infinity pool, so I think it's time to make our way back down to the sunshine. We have made it back to the main pool. It's getting popular out here now. Yep, Folks are showing up. Yeah, the water gets warmer as you come down. <laughs> All right, I think it is time to say goodbye to water mode and go into land and um, jerk chicken mode, perhaps. So now it is time to learn about food. I see a little snack table over here with chips and something that looks like a cookie or a bread or something. We got the bar over there. We want to learn how um, food, this might be the restaurant right there. I think it is. I see people in there eating. Yeah. Yes, there are tables and whatnot in here. There's a bird. But it looks like there is a line of food, like a buffet line. All right, we have learned the buffet is for people of a certain wristband. She said if we just have a seat, someone will serve us. So I think she said lunch is going to work out to about $17 per person. We get a little view of the river down here. I guess this is where the tubing must end. Well, we are chilling out here in the open air under the fans. I did just overhear her say that the jerk chicken is not quite ready yet. I did not hear the time frame though for it. Right, we're looking at about a 20 minute wait on the jerk chicken. We've already been hanging out for about 10-15 minutes or so, so we're going to miss the 1 o'clock shuttle, but I think we will risk it and go for the 2 o'clock shuttle. But let's come check out the bar menu while we're here. Alright, there we have it up on the chalkboard. No prices. I guess maybe everything's the same or they'll just let you know when you order. Guys, we're batting a thousand here. The uh, bar is currently out of ice, so he's got a 10 minute wait on ice, but hey, we have a 20 minute wait on chicken anyway, so we'll continue to wait. I don't think they have an official menu for the food. What we gleaned is they basically have burgers, I know she said, and they have jerk chicken, and you can kind of get it like there were sides of fries, or the jerk chicken could come with rice and beans and some kind of cabbage, and it ranges from like $15 for a burger plate to like $17 for a jerk chicken plate. We're learning, we're learning as we go. Update again, the jerk chicken is ready, but side note, I did not bring enough cash today. And I asked if they could take a card. She says yes, but they have to run it through the gift shop. So you have to either, I'm not clear on the policy because she said she was gonna take care of it for us, but I guess normally you'd have to go to the gift shop and maybe tell them the plates that you want to order and uh, there's, a, there's a process. So easy method, bring cash. They can do a card, but there's some extra steps in it. So yeah. Oh, the grand unveiling. <laughs> there we go. Jerk chicken and fries. I got it. Uh, looks like they've given you some extra jerk sauce and some ketchup. I got the jerk chicken with the cabbage and the rice and beans. And they gave a little side of the jerk sauce too. And she was nice. I was going to go over to the bar because they obviously don't take cards at the bar either. She said she'll just run it all on one tab and take it up to the gift shop for us. So that was super nice. It's kind of good actually. The chicken itself is not, hello camera, is not spicy. And they give you the sauce, which is the spicy thing. So you can control how much of a jerk you want to be. <laughs> Handy. Yeah, we each decided to go for a rum punch, which was $10 each. But that's a sizable glass. And we're in Jamaica. Yeah. That's true. Gotta do it right. <laughs> jerk chicken, rum punch. Good name. Ooh, how was your meal? Really good. Nice and tasty jerk chicken. I like that the sauce was on the side so you could control how spicy you wanted it. That helps. It wasn't horribly spicy though. I actually added a lot of flavor to it. It's so a good thing. Really good. And the fries are good. <laughs> I've had bad fries, so this are actually really, really good. And yeah. then this. Yeah, my rice and beans were good. They were a little bland, but I know it's to offset the whole jerk chicken yeah. thing, so that was appropriate. But I put jerk sauce on my All rice and it made it better. <laughs> Mouth on fire. So now we're on a field trip to the gift shop to settle up our bill. Boom, quick and easy. So they just had to ring us up at the gift shop. Yeah, it was simple. <laughs> We're just wandering now. They got like a little suspension bridge here. It looks more adventurous than it is because at first I only saw the uh, oh, the wood things. Oh, that's where you come back across. It does have like a full floor though. Well, we just asked that gentleman that was coming across and he said that you are able to walk on this bridge. Oh my gosh. Don't jump on it now. That's true. You would just swim. 
You did it! Yeah, there we go. The cross traffic came and got me. See, I couldn't do it because there was oncoming traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it. It's fun. Alright, Dee's gonna take you guys on an adventure while I stand here on terra firma. It's not scary, I promise. Here, let's go. Okay, here we go. We're going up the steps. Woo! Then you have to step down. Woo! But see, the view is cool. You have the river. I'm trying to be like smooth like Jay is with the camera work. It's probably too slow, he'll speed it up. And then you have like the little houses over there, zip liners above. And we're going again, bouncy, bouncy. This is fun. <laughs> I'm glad this is included. Back up to the platform. And back down again. And there's Jay. Good job. Well, we have got about 30 minutes until the 2 o'clock shuttle. Well, while we're wandering near the gift shop again, let's just take a peek. So this used to be, oh, Good Hope Sugar Works. It says it was a sugar factory in the 18th and 19th centuries. Ooh. Guys, we can learn so much right here. Yeah, they're in there doing a rum tasting right now, it looks like. Actually, I think I see like one participant. That's awesome. <laughs> like saw blades. History of rum in Jamaica. Now, we just drank it. Good Hope Properties. Oh, they have like a little map over here. Oh, this actually is, I guess, the current map of this property. Okay, oh, there's a ruins and a bridge and a... What? Okay, I didn't know half of this stuff was here. Okay. <laughs> Some kind of main complex down here with a gift shop. But yeah, we apparently are over in this section. Yeah, Adventure Falls. I guess that bridge that Dee just walked across is the Spanish bridge. There was stuff over there. I didn't think I was supposed to go beyond it. <laughs> I know, I thought we were kind of like sneaking to a place where we weren't supposed to be. Next time. There's that Jamaica Blue Mountain coffee we kind of learned about on the ride over. Funny, they have all this Appleton Estate stuff, but I don't think that was the brand of rum they were serving. It was like well, Ray rum. Yeah. <laughs> Ray and Nephew, that's who it was. Clothes and toady bags, sunglasses. I guess they sell water shoes. Oh yeah, that's a whole wall of water shoes over there because you have to have those for certain activities, yeah. All right, looks like folks are already lining up for this next shuttle, so we'll just wander out here and wait. Ah, we can learn about rum tasting tour times out here. Totally missed it. Oh hey, Disney is here longer than us, yeah. So our last bus says two o'clock. All right, we made it onto a bus. We're doing well. Guys, we thought we were good to go. We're getting kicked off the bus. Apparently this is not our bus. Whoops, there were no clear instructions as to what this bus was for other than it showed up and a door opened and people said get on. But apparently this was for one particular tour guide named Mr. Brown. So we've all been booted, but they said there is another bus coming for everyone non-Mr. Brown. Okay. Bye bus. Have fun, Mr. Brown. Now they said we're going to be getting on this blue bus as soon as Mr. Brown clears. They will come up here and pick us, 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 us up as well. All right, bus mode. Take two. We're on a bus. Hey guys, we've successfully gotten on a bus again. I think we're good. The bus is moving. I know that everyone did not came on this bus this morning, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. What because of the shuttle system? You know you have to get on a bus. Tell us your name, but you're gonna do it in the Jamaican dialect. So this is how you're gonna do it. My name, all right, so I'm gonna do it first. My name Curtis, me come from Jamaica, me love driving. What I think about this tour, it is awesome. All right, yeah man? When you get to the gate, your security will come on the bus to see your seaboard passes, all right? Thank you, yeah man? Yeah, man. Thank you guys so much to make it Chaka. Most of all, thank you to, to make it Jamaica. Yeah, man? We have made it back to the port successfully. Half an hour or so. Okay. 45 minutes still on board time. Well, there's a map over here. You know I love maps. This is a map of the entire town. See? I told you. Whoa. 
Oh, there is a Margaritaville there. I think it's in the church now. Looks like it. So it's part of the uh, courtyard, I guess. Yeah, not a ton of shops. You can see they're kind of arranged in like a V formation over there. Let's get a little closer. <laughs> so you don't have to like zoom in your eyeballs. There we go. So they can hold two ships here. And we are right there, just outside the shops. We're in the North Berth today in Disney. Was well, a Disney Fantasy is in the South Berth. Now restrooms just as you enter, and bam, ships. So let's get the lay of the land once again. That, of course, is Explorer of the Seas over there. Yeah, just a nice big courtyard full of shops. Everything is, you know, <gasps> that's right. Everything is open now that, you know, it's a little later in the day. Oh my gosh, guys, there is a lot of wind coming through here. Oh, the wind just picked up. We got a live band, man's on stilts. <laughs> there is a party going on, I tell you. Mostly a wind party, but a good party. They have a directory of all the stores. I mean, I'm sure this can change, obviously. A lot of stuff is marked out. Stuff can move. But hey, that's what we got as of right now. All right, back in through the security checkpoint. Oh, they have one of those little happy face rating systems. How we feel about Jamaica? How are you feeling? Oh my gosh. So back through the Great Hall, 10 points to Gryffindor. Oh gosh, all right, we have to go through x-ray right here. Let's put the cameras away. Guys, you gotta hide. And we survived x-ray. All right, hello, Explorer. Fun fact, if you can hear me over the wind, you're not allowed to bring organic materials back on board. We saw them confiscating conch shells, souvenir coconuts that had been carved out to be cups, like, you know, a green coconut, live flowers, stuff like that. That goes with most any port, but it was weird because I saw three instances as we were in the line just there. Home sweet home. Oh, we. Good evening. Hey, dinner time. Yeah. That's what time it is. We're getting ready to go to dinner. We are. So we have a 6.45 proper reservation tonight, so we should be good. As soon as the doors fly open, the whole rest of the cruise, we have 6.45 yes. booked. So how was your day at the Chucka Good Hope Estate? Family Estate. That thing. Yeah, so good. So it was our first time ever to Falmouth, and yes. we didn't really know what to do, and I had seen that that was available through the ship, and it looked like a good, family-friendly, inexpensive option True. to check Thrifty. out. Yeah. So, um, loved it, absolutely. It's beautiful, there's plenty of room to spread out, tons of activities to partake in or not. You can choose, the food was great. Yeah. Drinks were really good, very strong. Um, yeah, no, it was really good. Be, there's only one little kerfuffle, it was just like the yeah. whole transportation thing and how it worked. Yeah, it was a little weird at, the, some at adjusting. the beginning of the day yeah. and the end of the day, honestly, because yeah. the beginning of the day was a little disorganized because there was nobody greeting us at the number five spot. They were just like, oh, go find the guy on his bus. And so fortunately, we found we him. We found him. Took a little while to get the wristbands and all that stuff yeah. done, but that wasn't bad. But yeah, the end of the day with them, that bus, because what happened was everybody was just waiting in the waiting area. Mm -hmm. Bus pulls up, opens its door. Nobody says anything. So everybody just gets on this bus and they're like, oh, hey, did you come on this bus? Because um, get off. <laughs> So, so just some instructions from the Chucka folks there would have been nice. But so we got off and we got on the next bus. And, and the bus good. was right there. So. And we ended up with our original bus driver, Curtis. I believe. <laughs> Not our guide, but our bus driver. Yeah. So hey. We cool. made it back to the ship with plenty of time. So um, definitely recommend. It's really yeah. cool. I would do it again because there's actually more that we didn't explore because we didn't Whoops. know. We didn't look at a map till later. So yeah, that was the end of the day. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, good day overall, yeah. but booked through the ship. Mm -hmm. I don't believe, like I said earlier, I don't think you can book it independently. I don't think so. so. Don't know. <laughs> oh, well, now it's dinner time. Yeah. Let's eat. <laughs> okay. Hey, nice care. It's good to see you, man. Welcome back to Sapphire Dining Room. <laughs> There is our Spanish menu tonight, but let's flip it over, take a peek. Some starters. I feel like I don't even need to show the classics or the uh, pay stuff, because it's the same every day. But you know what? Consistency, thoroughness, and yeah.
quite lovely. We're gonna go see if we can make the early show now. We got about seven minutes to get up to the theater. Oh yeah. Waha, let's see what's happening. Well, it's two minutes to spare. I don't think we really had anything to worry about. Alrighty, well this is Impact. We saw this on Adventure. I am a great show. because there's some stuff going on. Yeah, hopefully the weather's nice. I'm not sure. <laughs> hey guys, let's go to Chop's Grill. Oh, it's windy out in Chop's Grill. <laughs> ah! Oh, there's Chop's ice cream. Chop's looks different than I remember. Huh, all right. Oh, they're watching Jurassic World out here, okay. One thing that we did not know that we recently learned, I guess, is that Super Mario, the Royal Caribbean Super Cruiser, is on this ship. Yeah, I guess he's doing a back-to-back -back on here. I'm not sure he's living here currently, uh, but he has like a special area, and yeah. we slide it out. That's what they said. We're not going to bother no, him no. that's not cool. So. Yeah, I guess they call it Super Mario's office, and we saw it's kind of a cordoned off yeah. area where he is. He gets to chill out. Yeah. yeah. We're not going to bother him. But that's really cool. In the flesh, we saw him. <laughs> well, first up out here is going to be a Caribbean line dance class. They're going to teach a few dances, and then it's party time. Whoops, I was hoping to hop up here and get a slightly better view of the party but they do still have this as a reserved deck even at night for concierge and uh, pinnacle so whoops we're gonna start with a really easy one which is called the electric boogie this is Karim. electric boogie okay that is the electric slide all right i don't know about no boogie but it does go boogie oogie oogie <laughs> The band is getting set up now for the Dancing Under the Stars party. Well, we've decided to come wander around and see what we've been missing. Now, funny enough, they've drained all of the pools. Not the hot tubs, but the two main pools, and this is the solarium from above. So this pool is also empty. I know the captain did say something earlier about having to go really fast, and um, the waves or wind or something was coming in from a certain direction. So, um, maybe it's gonna get bumpy. Just bask in some wave footage for now. Ah, 
party is still jamming away back there. Get it, Bob Marley jamming. <laughs> Actually, this is is this love, but jamming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's sneak back in. Is it still? Yeah, it's new. Good gracious, it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> we have come back to the cabin to find a remote control and a monkey. Look at this. Our our dog has mysteriously disappeared and donated his eyeballs in yeah, the name of science creepy. to this monkey. <laughs> well. <laughs> monkey, hey. see that sucker back there? Right there. I think right. we're going to have to move him because I will hit my head on yeah, him at right. night. Let's make him disappear so we forget Aww. about him for now. So what has been going on in your evening? Dinner was good. Yeah. yeah pretty good overall. Um, no complaints about that. Then we went to see the show. Yes, Impact. Yeah. We had seen it before. We have. I feel like they added some things to it, or I just don't member. quite remember. But it was really good. Yeah. yeah. I like it because it's I like different. Those stompy kind of shows. Yeah. No, yeah. that was really good. And then we went and did the dance. Mm hmm. And I knew most of those songs, but they all teach them differently. So it's like you don't oh, yeah, really ever know them. <laughs> yeah. I have a question for you guys. Oh. Is. <laughs> Riding a scooter and mm. drinking alcohol considered drinking oh. and driving because we witnessed some there were some people crazy maneuvers. They were out. like going to the bar uh -huh. and then coming back with a drink in hand, taking Fast out like wet cooler go. signs, almost yeah. running people over. I'm like, I'm pretty They're sure nice. that's drinking and driving, guys. So it's very dangerous. It's just it's weird. Just a random observation. Don't do it. Don't do it, Joe. So that's it. I think that's it. That's the lesson for tonight. <laughs> yeah. Don't, Don't drink, drink and drive, and drive on, on any vehicle or anything. Uh, all right, well, we're going to bed. We're going to Lombardy um, tomorrow. Oh, that's right. So Lombardy, excited. Lombardy, Lombardy. Yeah. Good night. <laughs> Good we'll night. see you tomorrow. It's a nice long day. I know. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>